right, let's do this. This is my interview for the queen. How do I look? Good? Straight? Bra strap? No? Lipstick? Good? So I am 42 years old at the time of this video. I am a mom. I have two boys that are 13 and 10 uh, and a husband for 16 years that we're married. And I am in the business. Like this is, Blush and Vine is my life. So I work from home. I'm always connecting with my community. I'm always, you know, buying new for the season, buying for next season. My life is very busy with Blush and Vine. Uh, I'm a hockey mom. I love going to see my kids play hockey. That's like a real important part of our life together. So I love to cook. I hate to bake. That's There's a very in interesting dynamic there. I hate baking. I love cooking. I'll cook you a 10 course meal any day. Um, I love wine and martinis. I love Pilates and spinning. I love my friends. I love my family. And yeah, I think just in these crazy times, we're kind of just all learning a little bit more about ourselves and what, what ends up being more important at the end of the day. And I guess cooking a good meal and having a good glass of wine at home with your family probably wins. Although, make me a reservation, I'll be happy to go to a restaurant. <laughs> Blush & Vine is an online shop that sells women's fashion and sometimes accessories. Blush & Vine is also a community. Blush & Vine is many things. Over the last six years since I've had Blush & Vine, I've really um, taken the time to get to know my customers and the people that frequent the Instagram page. So you can come to Blush & Vine and you can buy an outfit and you could come to Blush & Vine and you can get some makeup tips and you could come to Blush & Vine and play trivia and just have a really fun conversation. It has really become a place for everyone to connect, the Blush & Vine community. So it's not just me giving style tips, which happens numerous times a week. I get new arrivals, I show everyone what's new, I pair things together, I offer personalized try-ons in the DMs. People often ask me to take pictures to show them what it looks like, maybe in a different size. You'll see real talks, You'll see me talk about things that I get inspired by, topics that might be a little bit controversial, topics that are on everyone's mind. You'll find beauty tips, you'll find silly dance moves, and uh, whatever else is kind of happening in my world. I've been in the retail business for 16 years. I've had two brick and mortar stores. I actually started off selling just beauty products and accessories and gifts, um, and that evolved over time into fashion, and now it is just full on fashion boutique. So that's a good question, because I feel like sometimes I'm a little bit all over the place. Um, you know, I love a good animal print. I definitely love that like leather jacket, band tee look, paired with leopard every single time, a good pair of jeans, but I also love a few girly accents, a little ruffle, a little floral print. So I'm kind of like a little bit of a mix. I mean, if I could, embody myself as Kate Hudson, I think I would. And I just love her whole free spirit vibe. And Nicole Kidman's whole wardrobe in The Undoing was just so bohemian chic. It was just so spectacular and stunning. Sarah Jessica Parker as Carrie Bradshaw, I mean, put me in a tutu and I'm happy. <laughs> Fashion's so different now and you know, yeah, I had a pair of tapered jeans and um, whatever else was in style than a pair of Doc Martens, which I'm still wearing today. I mean, I had bangs and braces. How fashionable can you be? But when I started selling fashion, it kind of all fit together and my interests change. I think I was a little bit more honest with myself how I like to dress for me. Okay, so if you want to kind of up your fashion game, I'd say first and foremost, go through your closet and get rid of everything that you don't wear. Then when you're in your closet and it's been purged, take out the things that you love the best. Maybe you have a great pair of jeans and they're blue. But you know what? Maybe you can get a similar pair in gray and add that into the mix. Then think through your color wheel. What are the colors that you're attracted to? Are you more neutral? Do you like a pop of color? Are you solid? Are you a pattern? So you can easily make a checklist of things that you know that you like. Then if you go shopping or you come to someone like me, you can say, you know what? I love V-necks. I don't like crew necks. I know right away I'm going to show you the V-neck t-shirts. Think about staple items, a good blazer, a good leather jacket, a good blouse. Those are things that you can mix and match with anything at any times. And then, you know, things that are maybe trendier, pick up a, a cute dress. A black dress will take you miles. You can wear it with flip-flops. You can wear it with boots. There's just so many things you can do. So it really takes a few minutes of like, introspection to come up with things that you know that you love and if you go and see a professional they'll help you add a pop of color here maybe a pattern here a ruffle maybe a few things that you wouldn't necessarily choose into your wardrobe and give you a few options of how you can mix and match those things all together